guys, I'm Jake and we're joined here with Alex, from CEO of RS Design and Technologies and we are standing next to the amazing Pulse 63 from RS Electric. So Alex, kick us off, what is it about the Pulse 63 that makes it different? Okay, thanks Jake. Well, the Pulse 63 is something very special. I mean, this is the one of the first boats which are purely electric. Great. So, what I mean by that is we've designed it purely to take the battery okay. and um, and to be as super efficient as possible. So we've done that right from the design stages. Brilliant. Okay, now I'm looking at the boat here and I can't see any batteries. So give me the basics, where are they? Well, that's kind of what I mean. So in reality, part of the design of the boat is 50% of the weight of wow. this boat is okay. batteries. Sure. So actually locating those batteries in the right place is super important to make it super efficient. I see. So what we've done is we created uh, underneath the floor uh, a safe box where the batteries are and all the main electrics are. So it's completely safe as well. Um, so, there's, so there's no way that you can get your hands in there. Or right, like oh, okay, that. good, good. Through two. So that's okay, all good. inside the boat. Wow, okay, so like you say, it is designed, wow, from scratch. So what we all want to know is, how fast does it go and how far can I go? Okay, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty fair. So um, the top speed for this rib is 23 knots. Okay. Um, we feel that's quick enough. Um, well, yeah, it sounds for, quick to me. For a general rib. Um, now, in reality, um, from a range point of view, obviously it depends on so many things. Sure, okay. But Generally speaking, if you're doing your 12 to 15 knots, which is yep. average, yeah, 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 it will last you all day. It'll Brilliant. Up to 90 Brilliant. miles. Um, you know, the, it's that sort of range. And then Great. with the situation you've got with charging too, okay. then that's, yeah. So go on then, how quickly does it charge? And are there different charging? How does that work? Yeah, well, one of the great thing about ribs and electric ribs is every pontoon has generally of course. some electric. Yeah. So the infrastructure is there at a basic point. So from that point of view, it's great. Now, if you're using your pontoon okay. electrics, yeah. this boat from 0 to 100% will probably be overnight. Okay, okay fine. Yeah. But if you, one of the um, really interesting things with, with the Pulse is we spent a lot of time using something called CCS charger. Now, that's the same charger as you would get in your car. So okay. you can take this to any charging network yep. um, and just plug in and be fast charging. Now, when you fast charge, 0 to 100%, we can do it in an hour and 40. Right. So it's suddenly a bit of a game changer on that too. Okay, wow. So in my speech, that's kind of high techie, techie, techie. Wow. Okay, so... Um, that's, that's all really good. Now, I'm looking at this and I've been coaching and driving ribs for a long, long time. How is it going to do if I've got my fleet of boats, fleet of quests maybe, and I've got to tow them home? Am I going to be able to get there? Easy. Yeah, no problem at all. I mean, in some ways, from a, a, from a tall kind of stud down point, you've got so much here. So from the towing point of view, yeah. super easy. And the nice thing is you don't have this outboard at the back yeah, yeah, to yeah. be catering from. So you, you just go and be tying onto the kind of Samson post all the way back and it's super easy. Fantastic. So very much, I think you'll actually will prefer how this boat will work with towing because I just think with electric Brilliant. power, be yeah, fun. and something that's just, you mentioned the outboard and it's popped into my head that they're so loud, sometimes coaching or communicating as a safety boat is quite tricky. So does it make a noise? That, you know, will I, how will my communication be? And that's one of the nicest things about these electric boats is all you hear is the boat going through the sea. Wow. Um, so you hear the waves and the splashing. Yeah. And that's something else which is really interesting because the whole form that we've done uh, we've designed it in a way that it makes it super efficient. Okay. Okay. So there isn't much wake yep. uh, as you go through. Um, and also it's super dry too, because what happens is if you look underneath just the hole, Jake, yeah. it, it's not conventional. You've got this kind of two stage approach okay. um, for the hole, which gives yeah. super stability. Okay. Um, but also what it does, it catches the bow wave as it goes over it. So, it, so effectively it keeps you dry. 
Nice. Dry in the boat. Yes. So from that point of view, it's ideal. And I do like to stay dry. I sometimes dissolve if I get wet as an RYA senior instructor. So I'm looking at this and thinking, if I was to run an RYA advanced powerboat course, for example, I might want a couple of extra seats. Are there different ways we can outfit this? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, what you've got here, this is the kind of coach spec. Okay. okay? Um, and then we've got a commercial and a leisure spec. Now, arguably, with all of those, had different options in, in the seats. We've got uh, T-tops, we've got some wider consoles, we've got yep. bench seats with storage, Great. we've got rear bench seats, we've got um, sun beds, we've got oh, wow. lots of things okay. which can go in there. Fantastic, brilliant stuff. And then finally, I, I don't really know um, what's possible here, but in a normal rib, there's not much electric power, so I don't really know how to charge up my phone or, or whatever I've, you know, my, my coaching camera or what I've got with me. So, are there any benefits with the whole electric setup for that sort of thing? Absolutely. I mean, that's the that's the nicest thing. So you can plug in your phone, you can yep. plug in all sorts of things into a 12 volt supply. Oh wow! Very easily. Yeah. So I've gone the dashboard, but there's also some. USB sockets as well and other things like that. Brilliant stuff. And then finally, Alex, um, is this boat ready to go? Are we still in prototype stage or, or where are we up to with that? Okay, so we've been in in prototyping and design for the last three years. It, it, okay. It's been a significant Yeah, exercise. sounds thorough. And so what we've got here, if this is our first production boat out of the Production tooling. Wow. We're ready to go. Brilliant. Fantastic. So, ready to take orders. People just need to get in touch. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, thanks for listening, guys. We hope you've uh, enjoyed looking at the Pulse 63. If you've got any questions that we haven't answered, again, get in touch, rsanian.com. We'd love to hear from you.